yeah, look at all that traffic on I-4. This is two miles out of an accident that happened in Maitland. Hey, happy Tuesday. We came down to Ardigan Mall again. I think you guys remember we came to Ardigan uh, the day after, the day that we did the video game stuff. So we came out here because we want to try out uh, Toby Keith's I Love This Bar. It's finally open. They're busy listening to music. They're DJs. Let's take a look at Ardigan first. So, Toby Keith is open now, obviously. We didn't know, uh, we only just checked Facebook today, so they were open for like the last two weeks, but didn't see any notices about it. But they got all of the seating outside and all the stuff inside, and it's hardly filled. You may want to get the notice out a little bit more, because there's a lot of country people down here and tourists that probably want to see this particular restaurant, but if I was waiting for it and didn't know about it, I can imagine nobody else knows about it. And hey, look at that Christmas tree. And so we're going back to Artigan, uh, at least I am. Mary and Jesse have never been here before. We want to check it out. Hey, so by the way, this uh, ropes course, so we talked about it in the last video that we did here. This is open on Christmas Eve. Somebody fell, a 52 year old guy fell because his harness didn't work the right way. 30 feet to his death, died on Christmas Eve. And now today, Mark Nation from the law firm uh, filed a suit against the company. And I thought it was closed according to the news that this was all closed off and they weren't gonna reopen again until, um, until they found out what the problem was, but apparently Mary's saying that only part of the course is actually closed right now. So completely weird, uh, when we were filming, the ropes course sent out a PR person to start to talk to us, or a manager, that wanted to tell us that in 26 years, and all of the different courses that they have here, they've never had a problem, and tried to tell me that there was no problems with the course, that they found the reason why it, things went bad the way that they did, they isolated it and they reopened it again. Which is really weird because on the news they said it was closed, but and apparently it's open. And that guy did not want me to film anybody on that course. So we've got all these other stores here too. Uh, we can check out a couple of the vendors, see what they've got going on. Here's the thing about coming to this mall so far, this marketplace. You see all the vendors, they're wide open. It's really awkward walking down these um, aisles and all of the vendors are basically in their stores like hawking at you like carnival cartons asking you to come in and take a look at their stuff. I absolutely hate walking past stores and having people come in and say, hey come and look at my stuff and by the way we have all of this stuff on sale today and these shirts are only you know this so and so price and check out this art. I hate that. I hate the feeling of this place and I cannot see how it's going to succeed. Like for an example, here's Florida Taffy. This could be a store. You open a store just selling taffy and as people walk by, you yell at them, hey, come in and check out my stuff. Now these guys didn't yell at me because they've been closed, but virtually all of the other artists and the people here have been saying the same thing. Like, hey, come on, check out our stuff. And here's where you can rent all of those little uh, zoo animals that go like little bikes that they motorized all throughout the mall. All of these places are closed already for the day. You kind of get the feel for like what's here. I like the name of this store. That's right, it's crap art. So by the way, um, most of the stores in there were closed. And I know I've said this before that there's a limited selection of stores and people are barking at you to try to buy stuff. But it's eight o'clock at night, the stores close at nine, and that place is a ghost town. So if you go back to the video that we shot uh, after the video games conference or, or convention that day, and I said, I didn't think this place was gonna last. Um, I think it may be closed a lot sooner than I even thought to begin with, because besides us, there was probably less than 10 other people in the entire place. All right, so now we finally get to try out Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. All right, so we sat down right away. This is what it looks like inside. I like to stand up later and walk you guys around. It's pretty empty. But all of these drinks, the same the drinks on the bottom, come in mason jars. So this is what it looks like inside. Give you a panorama view. We got all these uh, booths. People that are unhappy looking at me filming, but oh well. So you got this bar area with the big TVs. The bar is pretty big. It looks like it's shaped like a guitar, probably. And then you got Toby Keith's memorabilia. You got his sign that wasn't framed very well in a Michaels frame. I recognize the <laughs> gold border Michaels. Shout out. Hope they use the coupon from the app. But, um, and you got Toby Keith's outfits. I remember that shirt. 
That's even got his little bracelet thing there too. And there's a set list from 2010. Uh, no encore. That's interesting. And you got an autographed picture. His guitar. And like a promotional flat. You get the women's room. You can be branded with a W. And the guitar bar. So it is shaped like a guitar. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You got more promo stuff over here, another TV. And another kind of crooked framing job there. VIP passes. Um, hmm. Just a lot of promo stuff. But what they have back here, it's pretty cool. They got like a full stage. Oh, they have like a whole VIP room here too. Nice black leather. That's pretty cool. And you got this whole stage area. This is a really big stage. This is big. This is nice. Yeah, so plenty of room here for dancing, for general admission show. That's pretty cool. And you got the DJ and sound booth over here. More TVs with this uh, autograph on the wall. And the back end of the guitar bar. This bar is huge. This whole entire place is super gigantic. And you got more Toby Keith stuff. So you got an autographed drum head. Another Michaels frame with How You Like Me Now. Um, and 47, of course, that was John Lynch, but now it's renamed to Toby Keith from the Bucks. Very cool. And you got all these Jack Daniel guitars all over the place. And now we've got like a whole other case. This is like the good case of all this stuff, right? So you got the Should Have Been a Cowboy. Uh, you got his cut off shirt, trademark concert poster, this Ford guitar, you remember his Ford commercials, and this co concert poster is signed by everybody, so you got Trace Atkins, Joe Nichols, Randy Hauser, that's really cool. And now you just got bar materials over here, promo stuff, Fireball is everywhere these days, and Jägermeister, it's Mary's favorite. <laughs> but check out the sunsets, oh, and actually you can see the guitar up top, I'm so stupid, I didn't see that before, say his American acoustic guitar. And the bar mirrors it on the bottom. This is really awesome. So we got a Toby's platter to begin with. And it's got like uh, chips with all kinds of stuff. It's got these girly wings or something. I think that's what it's called, girly wings or girl wings. Like mozzarella sticks, pretzel poppers, and fries. I forget what's on the fries. Zucchini fries. Uh, they are like sweet fries or something. Or veggie fries, sweet fries. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to eat it anyway. Let's see how it tastes like. Ah, oh, it tastes like pickles, by the way. It smells like pickles. Oh, it's pickle fries. That's oh, right. It's really hot. Awesome. Pickle fries? Pickle fry? Uh, they're very hot. Well, the main food is here. Jesse got I should have been a cowboy. Hamburger. Mary got a cob salad. Looks delicious. And I got chicken fried steak that came with barbecue sauce instead of white sauce, which is the first time I've ever had it that way. It looks really good, but I gotta tell you, the appetizer was unbelievably good. The yeah. pretzel bites were delicious, the chicken wings were like for mutant chickens. They were delicious. <laughs> and the pickle fries, I can't tell you, because I don't eat pickles. They were very good. Everything was good. Jesse can't talk. Thank you. Alright, so we finished eating at Toby Keats. Um, I thought it was delicious. I had the chicken fried steak, and it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. What do you think? It was awesome. I think the only complaint the fries Jesse had, taste like fruit. <laughs> the fries actually had clean oil, so it's a new place, and they tasted like peanut oil or, or something. So it was a little different. And the, the Jesse got grits, also cheese grits, and it tasted like actual mild cheddar cheese with the real grits. And I think she's so accustomed to eating junk stuff that <laughs> good stuff didn't taste good to her. But um, yeah. it was delicious. The only other couple things that I would say of note that were weird is that they don't sell any type of merchandise inside. There's no t-shirts, no tank tops, no hats. I think that's a big miss. And the other big miss is uh, one of the biggest songs that you'd hear, whether it was on country radio or in bars or parties, is Red Solo Cup. But they don't actually serve a drink in a Red Solo Cup. You would think that they would have like those plastic hard uh, tumbler type cups. But tumbler? Yes. Yeah. Not here. We Which have one really at weird. home. Yeah. <laughs> we got them from all these other bars. It's like collectible shack. cups, like Joe's Crab Shack and stuff, but um, not here. So, But anyway, we'll definitely be back because I like this place a lot. I mean, I love this bar. <laughs> I love this bar a lot better than the Kiss Bar that was in Oviedo. No. So if you're... Jesse likes the fries in the Kiss Bar in Oviedo. 
Yeah. That's about it though. So if you want good french fries, go to Oviedo and go to the Kiss Bar. If you want good food here, come here. And I can't wait to go see shows at the stage and everything too. So big win all around. Well, now we're going to try to get over to Bass Pro Shop. It said that it was open until 10 o'clock online. Man, I love coming in this store. I love coming in the front door and this is what you see. This store is massive. And we don't come down here often enough, but I love this place. Mary and Jesse are trying on bucket hats. <laughs> With free ends, no less. <laughs> Do you need camo? Do you need those tree stumps? I want one. Or the whole big tree up there with the turkey up there in that tree. Get that chair. I could just sit in my front trees in front side of the house. Take aim at people walking by. Look at this. First of all, Jesse's having fun. We're going to get kicked out. But look at this. Who doesn't want lingerie like camouflage style? Ooh. Ow. So now I'm stuck looking at hot sauce and they do have a very big selection. But check this stuff out. It comes in this own little outhouse. That's awesome. They have these ridiculous fish tanks here too. Look at this guy. Oh, you're the fish you should get him out better. Oh yeah. He's looking right at me. Don't eat that fish. Eat hamburgers. Here's a better view of just how big this place is. That fish tank. I love shopping here. I could kill hours. Here you go, Toby Keith. You totally could have had these types of uh, hard plastic cups. That's pretty cool. Hey, we are back home. So, overall, Artigan Mall. Not a big fan. Ropes course, I can't believe that it's still open. Um, they may have closed down the one spot where someone was injured, but, or not injured, but died. Um, but, it's even said that, I can't believe that the, uh, the entire course is even still open. But, on the positive side, I love this bar. I like that restaurant a lot. It is really, really big. So, obviously, they have big plans or ambitions for that site. Um, I think... If it was on iDrive in the heart of where all of the other tourist stuff is, like um, Senor Frogs and stuff like that, you probably would be able to fill that place on a nightly basis. But given where it is, um, with the amount of seating that it has, has me a little concerned um, that it may be, um, you know, overly ambitious. But the food was good. Hopefully the reviews get out and, and people will want to come. Um, it was a soft open again. Um, so, you know, I liked it a lot. I would recommend going there if you like Toby Keith, you like country music, you like barbecue, you like drinking, that's worth checking out. So maybe that'll draw more people into Artigan Mall too, but I don't know. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to bed. So on that note, thank you for all of the likes and the comments and the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Happy New Year, and we'll see you guys. Thanks.